السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام We are in شهر رجب الخير شهر سفر الخير <laughs> and we are asking from Allah Almighty to make this month <coughs> passing smooth because this month is the heaviest month in Arabic calendar. We are hoping that Allah Almighty will save us from the badness and make the badness for non-believers. Ya Rabbi, we want to be in the level of believers. It is not easy to be in the level of believers. But Allah Almighty, He is so generous that He accepts us in the level of believers. We are weak servants. Whatever we do, we are weak servants. Maybe we are trying our best. And Allah Almighty, He say, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah Almighty, He will never ask more than what you can do. Just Allah Almighty, He want His servant to enjoy His ibadah. He doesn't want His servant to be in stress of iman. So many youngsters, they put themselves under the stress. And they are asking, do you think my prayer will be accepted? Do you think my iman it is accepted? Do you think I'm good one? Do you think I am this one? And I have only, I have one, I have only one answer for this youngsters. Your intention is the most important things by coming to Allah. The rest is nothing. Because Allah Almighty, He look at you and He say to His Malaika, Oh my Malaika, look for my youngsters. They are coming to worship for me. I know they have the ego with them. And I know the shaitan also making waswas for them to say, your prayer it was not accepted. You are not believer. You are like this, you are like this. Allah Almighty, of course He know. Allah Almighty, of course He care. Allah Almighty, of course He look for the youngs that they are coming with a pure heart and pure intention to Allah Almighty. Don't be scared. Don't be scared from your prayer. Don't be scared from your Iman. Don't be scared from your belief. Just let it go. Let it go to Allah Almighty. Yes. Don't scare. Allah Almighty never give you <coughs> The things to be in a frame <coughs> as a sister, no. Allah Almighty is white. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah Akbar. He is so white, so tolerant, so tolerant for the youngsters. You have to keep this one in your heart. And when you feel your ego, it's touching you. Say, I'm not listening to you, my ego. I'm looking for Allah Almighty generosity that He will accept me if I'm wrong. 
because this is junction for youngsters. It is very important junction for youngsters. When they come and they make mistake, and then they say, Allah Almighty will not forgive us. Let's continue in our mistake. No, don't continue in your mistake. Allah Almighty have door called Babu Tawbah, the door of Tawbah. He is waiting for you to come and ask forgiveness. Don't say Allah Almighty will never look at my face. Allah Almighty waiting for you to come and say, Ya Rabbi, forgive me. And say, Allah Almighty will say, I forgive you. <laughs> Don't insist in your wrong way. That thing you are thinner and you cannot be forgiven. Allah Almighty never treat you like government. <laughs> you have to be punished. No, Allah Almighty say, if you have chance to return, just return. It's Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty is so great. Allah Almighty is so fantastic. Allah Almighty is so beautiful. Jamal, beautiful. We are a human. When we see beautiful one or beautiful one, girl, we melt at this Allah Almighty. He's creating. What about him? What about him? We must go for Allah Almighty. Whatever it is, this is important for the youngsters because they feel confusing about their Iman, they feel confusing about their Ibadah, they feel confusing sometimes they do wrong. Allah, His name, At-Tawwab. At-Tawwab means that when He forgive you, He is waiting for you to forgive you. Allah Almighty will be very happy to forgive you. Don't forget this one. Don't forget that Allah Almighty will be happy to forgive you. It's important to understand the understanding the most important things in life. If you don't understand, you will stay in your place and you don't know what to do. If you make wrong, you stay in your wrong. But if you understand that Allah Almighty, He will be forgiving you, then you will run. Because you understand that Allah Almighty, He is, will forgive you. It's important for you, young boys. We've been young. We know we've been passing through so many roads. Yes, but when Allah Almighty he wants you to be with Him, you keep your heart with Him. We are living in such a country that everything is available. Every corner has some badness. You know, this is, we cannot do anything against it because it's darkness coming everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world is darkness. But now it's time to put the light in the heart of the young. Make them understand if they make wrong, it doesn't matter. You come. Sayyidina Jalaluddin Rumi, his famous poetry was, whoever you are, come to me. Whatever you are, come to me. Whatever you done, come to me. He's talking from the spring of Rasulullah <laughs> This is important to understand. Don't misunderstand. No, you understand well. We are in the time of understanding. Olden days, there was 
not much to know. The knowledge was kept in several areas, but now everybody has telephone that he can reach the knowledge in a second. If you want to know so many things, you just click and you are there. You know why you don't know Allah Almighty, what He is giving you, what He is offering you, why you don't understand, why you think wrong. Don't think wrong, think right. Think that Allah Almighty, He is the forgiver and He is the one looking for you, looking for your heart. This is Allah Almighty. This is Allah. It's not like me, it's not like you. If you are insist in your sin, then you have a trouble. But if you make U-turn, everybody drive car. <laughs> so you know what's mean U-turn. You make U-turn and come back to Allah and say, Ya Rabbi, I am the sinner and I'm asking for forgiveness. And you will see forgiveness coming to you. This is important for us to understand. Now, I would like to thank you for your hospitality, for receiving us in the name of Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, Rahmatullah Alayh, that he was coming for this area. And I wanted to announce that Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, he is loving you so much and he is caring about you so much. That's why he sent Sheikh Muhammad here to be with you and to say to you, we are continuing our spiritual journey. And Sheikh Muhammad, he said, I am not changing anything in Tariqa. I am not changing what Mawlana Sheikh he began. I am not making any revolution in Tariq. Say because Maulana Sheikh, he put very solid foundation that it's continued this Tariq forever. Alhamdulillah. And you are the pearls of Maulana Sheikh in Tariq. You are the jewelry of Maulana Sheikh in Tariq. All of you, you have different shiny and you have different beauty that only the spiritual people they can see. This is Allah, the one they can see what you have in your heart. Don't the physical things, it is going, it doesn't last, but the mineral and the, the jewelry inside you, it will be remain. It's important. And my advice for you, to keep continue with Mawlana Sheikh and to keep your sincerity with what you began and to get on and on and on and on in your spiritual journey. Because everybody have his own spiritual journey. Everybody have his own spiritual role. Everybody have his own spiritual way and all will reach for destiny. That Allah Almighty He appoint. And what we want, we want when we reach our destiny, we want to face Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by saying, Alhamdulillah Ya Sayyid Ya Rasulullah, by the way that you give for us, we reach for you. The dunya, it is empty. If all the dunya belonging to you, it's worthless. It's rubbish. Why? Because at the end of the day, you have to leave everything and you have to go. They say somebody, he was rich. They say this place, it was for him. That place, it was for him. That road, it was all belonging to him. And in the, he have a lot of money in the bank, have a lot of employees, he have a lot of companies, he have a lot of cars, 
planes, etc. He passed away. Immediately, they remove his name. <laughs> they remove his name from title deeds. No, 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 no. Stop waiting. Finish. He is under the ground. <laughs> Now they say the richest, the, the richest, richest that man is Steve Jobs. <laughs> so what? <laughs> he is billionaire, but he cannot spell. <laughs> we are not saying anything about that gentleman, but we are giving as example for you to understand what meaning this dunya that is nothing. Now you have a catch, the real treasure that is belonging to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because all of us, we will face the grave one day. May Allah give you long life, healthy life, but there is no way to run. <laughs> We will face it. They say three things must happen. One is the one everybody born must die. Definitely. Every new must come old. Definitely. Especially people, they like brand new car. After one year is old. I say, what old? <laughs> And every expected must come. And expected, the death is one of expectation. Mahdi alayhi salam, one of expectation. Qiyama, one of expectation. It is everything being expected must come. These three rules never change. And when somebody die, so he have to have good receiving by Israel alayhi salam. Because that moment also, it is very important how he take the soul, Israel alayhi salam. How he take the soul. Are he take it gently? Are he take it by anger? I that, that moment, that is one of the most critical moments in the life of the person. Very critical. There is one story about this Waliullah. He was lying in the street. His house, it was so humble house in the street doesn't have house. And his house only cover his feet. That's it, nothing else. And he is waiting for Malak al -Maut. And Sayyidina Israel salam, he came to him as a man. Very, he changed himself. And that Wali he was telling him, Oh Israel, why are you hiding yourself? Show yourself. And he was telling him, I am shy to take your soul as Israel. And he was telling him, We are Awliyaullah. We are also shy to show you our face for you. Say, he changed himself just to be polite, taking his soul. <coughs> polite. We want to be politely giving our soul. We want to be received in mazar, in good, receiving by Ankar wa Nakir. Not to hit us in our head. Who is you, Allah? Who is you, Rasul Allah? What is your religion? Hitting, hitting. All this journey, that is not easy journey. 
That's why the spirituality must be high with you, must be your sincerity high to have good receiving in such a places. Because we don't end up here. Here it's the easiest. Here the Allah Almighty, He give us the time for exam. We are in exam now. Whatever we do, it doesn't count. But on the other side, it will be start counting from Israel alayhi salam. Say, oh, you make wrong, you make wrong, you make wrong, you make wrong. Oh, zero, 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 zero. <laughs> ya Latif, Ya Latif. We want Awliyaullah to save us because we are weak servants. We want Murshid Kamil to save us because we are weak servants. We want them to look after us. We only have our sincerity and our love for them. We don't have anything else. The rest we are doing as they want. We want to be good Muslim, we want to be good Mu'min, we want to be good Murid, we want to be good in the spiritual way under the feet of Murshid, under the feet of Awliyaullah. Because we only know them. We don't know Rasulullah if they don't tell us. We don't know Allah if they don't tell us. Because they are explaining to us the real way, the real love, and the real sincerity. May Allah make you sincere for them, make us sincere for them, and make us under their feet, and make us to be saved here and hereafter. Amen. May Allah bless you, and thank you very much for hosting us, and inshallah we have, we hope to see you again next year. Inshallah. May Allah make next year for you good year and make it full of good things, goodness, health, wealth, and good children, good grandchildren, and many, many, many sadaqah, many, many zakat, many, many goodness for the poor people, inshallah. May Allah bless you. Wa bin Allah tawfiq. بحرمة الحبيب بحرمة الفاتحة